Many learning institutions around the world have embraced blended learning that involves both traditional and online methods of teaching. Online study gained prominence at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and 2021 when learners were forced to stay at home. And as a way of keeping the learning going and keeping the children engaged, many schools implemented e-learning programs. Five million per, for a laptop, but this, uh, in my view, is out of reach for very many learners. Also difficulties in running practical programs. We also came across concerns about inclusivity of people with disabilities. Reports indicate that Uganda's internet penetration rate stood at 29.1% of the total population of 47.7 million at the start of 2022. Stakeholders in the education sector say a number of areas are grappling with the problem of internet connectivity on top of high data charges as this hinders online education and blended learning. Odell is expensive to run in terms of required equip equipment and internet connectivity. In the beginning, the institutions and the consumers of education will have to part you know, with some investment. And so the more people we have actually embracing uh, uh, digital technologies, online learning, the less expensive it becomes. Whereas it is believed that online education is the way to go, it is still facing resistance from those who believe in traditional methods of teaching. National Council for Higher Education Chairperson Professor Erika Tunguka says some employers do not recognize the academic qualifications acquired through online teaching. And the question of credibility of online degrees. Some employers do not accept degrees and hold it through online teaching. And this is due to negative perceptions and stigma. To boost distance and e-learning in the country, heads of higher learning institutions have urged government to train learners as well as teachers. Get people accustomed to online meetings, online registration if they are students, online payment of tuition fees. Get them accustomed to online way of doing things. That way it will be easy for those who are studying to, you to study online. Minister of Education and Sports, Janet Museveni, who attended via Zoom, says the ministry is finalizing preparations for a digital agenda strategy. We need to take learning to people instead of bringing people to learning, emphasizing the need for making learning accessible to where people are. The council has called upon institutions of learning to develop programs to be specifically implemented using open distance and e-learning and submit them for accreditation. Nobat Atkunda, NTV News.